Hi there. Hop in. I'll show you guys how we build stuff on the Sand Hill Central. And when we're all done, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is my rail drill for the railway. I believe it's a Hogan model number 10927A. Um, I love this drill. It's a uh, gas two cycle and it's an older engine. So it's one part oil to 25 parts gas. Um, this is not the original engine. The original engine was locked up um, from somebody not adding oil to the engine and scored it and locked it up and my dad being a uh, really good with uh, small engines he was able to find a Tecumseh 300 I'm not sure if that's 300 cc but pulled the crankshaft out of the old one found that the crankshaft would fit in a Tecumseh 300 so this is actually a engine off of a uh, large uh, ice auger and it worked out um so that isn't the original engine um i love this drill it's manual feed um your fluid hooks in there just a air hose quick connect shut off valve you tighten it to the rail um i think i have five different types of shoes here's your uh hand turn knob to turn to take the shoes on and off the shoes are pretty simple it's an offset hole so you can't uh, put them on upside down and basically they just fit right into the web this is 80 pound these shoes aren't the right shoes for the rail it says 85 ASCE on it um, we're gonna be drilling technically 90 GN today which is the same as 90 ASCE or I believe I have they're the same 100 ARAB which would be 90 uh, 100 pound um, NP is the same as 90 pound GN as far as the web size um, nice thing about this drill it's a if you want to call it a, a hole bit Kind of like for wood, but this is for metal. It's got a pilot, spring-loaded pilot. That's what's going to tell it to give it cutting fluid. And then it's just going to drill the outside of the hole. So this thing drills uh, pretty quick, less than a minute per hole. You're only drilling the outside, and then the spring-loaded plunger punches the plug out. There's a few other manufacturers, um, Stanley. They seem to drill the hole, hole out, which causes heat in the rail you can have bolt hole breaks takes longer more cutting fluid um that is hydraulic i don't like hydraulic drills but yeah i'll show you guys how it works Here's the setup on the rail. All of our 90 pound, um, it's gonna be two and a half inches on center from the end and eight and a half inches on center on the end. And this is just a spring loaded plunger you drop down on the line and that's how it um, drills the hole on center on the web. When we're all done drilling, I'll take a uh, peener or a reamer or whatever you want to call it and I'll ream the hole out around this edge that's to keep it from 
if it did get a little warm when drilling, which this drill maybe increases the temperature of the uh, steel, maybe 25 degrees, 50 degrees, but the peener will take the sharp edge off and avoid um, there's small cracks in there that a human eye can't see uh, to keep the rail in the winter um, to not encourage it to break and cause a uh, bolt hole break. Here's the two holes, the two plugs we drilled out. We'll take the peener. Clean that um, sharp edge off around the hole. The only reason why we had to do this is sometimes I get plugs, uh, plug rails or rails that had defects cut out and occasionally I have to saw cut the end, especially if it's torched. Uh, saw cut the end and then uh, drill holes so we can put bars on and bolt everything.